Hi, my name is Sean. This is my first reading response. In this video, I would like to share three things that I have learned from the reading, lectures, and class discussion. Please enjoy it. The first thing I would like to share is the stereotypes. From the reading, I realize and I have learned that stereotype is something that everyone has. Whether it is obvious or whether it is something that we didn't realize. I remember in the lecture, the professor mentioned that Asian is often being considered have a stereotype that most Asian are good at math. And to be honest, from my personal experiences, Asian are really good at math. But it doesn't mean that good at math is something that Asians should have, something that Asian, you know, born as. In my opinion, for most Asian, why they are good at math is because they practice a lot, and because their parents have higher expectation towards their educations. And I made a conclusions that is because. Most Asian America, especially, are immigrants' parent, parents have immigrants' parent, so they came to this country is to have a better life. So as a result, most parents obviously have higher education、um, expectation toward their children. So this is very easy to understand. That why so many people have stereotype to a Asian that they are good at math. So I think this is some very good example that what stereotype is. It is something people often consider this kinds of group people have some kinds of abilities or、um, impression. And I also like to share my personal experiences from my point of view. In this society, in today's world, money is often considered a stereotypes about related to success. Growing up, I was also being taught that having the money is a way to success, and if you have a lot of money, then you are considered a successful one. So, from a perspective, this kinds of stereotypes can be a way that intimidate. A lot of people, that a lot of people don't have much money, but really want a success, and it became a contradiction. So, from my point of view, money equal to success is a stereotype that this society created. But it doesn't mean that having good money, having a lot of Successful experiences equal to each other. People can have a lot of money, but still not successful. People can be very successful, but doesn't have much money. It all comes to a question that what is successful? How we define successful? In my opinions, successful is when you help others, when you contribute to this world, when you make the positive impact. To the people surround you, or the words that you live in. So I I made a conclusion that stereotypes is something we should realize, and we should be aware of. The second thing I would like to share about it is the myth of photographic truth. From the reading, I I realized there's a, a, a designer that the author mentioned is the Dodge. Dutch graphic designer Zella Van Dam. She went to a vacation, or I should say, she pretended to went to a vacations, but he she actually didn't. She using the technique to manipulating photos that copy her image into the vacation place, and send it to others that others feel that she actually visit the place. And from my point of view, in today's world, or in the past, a lot of people consider photo is something that related to truth, 
or in a reading, it mentioned that or it stated that is related to realism, something that is related to evidence, something that is true, something that we can use it as evidence. But from the reading, it obviously mentioned that news like now the day technology have changed the way we think about photos. And photo become more powerful than we have ever think. So I think from the reading, I realized that technology is um, changing our view towards photos and how we think photo is. And I also like to share about my personal experiences. I have been using Instagram for a long period of time. And every time when I upload the photos on Instagram, before I upload to the Instagram, I always using some apps to editing my photos, make it brighter, more attractive, and make it more beautiful. The way I want to do that is just get more attraction from my followers, get more attention from my followers. So now I can relate it to the reading is that I can manipulate in photos using editing tools. So I think technology really changed how we see the photos. And when we see the photos, it is no longer that we can sure that the photo is true. But we have to think whether it is true or not. So I think it is the myth of photographic truth in today's world. It is different than the past. The third thing I would like to share is the representations. In a reading, it stated, linked to the production of meaning through symbolic systems such as painting, drawing, and photographic. So from our personal experiences, we can use different ways to represent our feelings, whether through painting, drawing, and photograph. But from the lecture, I learned a new thing, something that I not yet learned from the reading, is that we actually can break the rule to make arts, and everyone has the ability to create their own representations, their own way to represent things that related to them. One an example that I recently um, touched my heart is during the class, the professor showed us a picture about inside a museum, on, a, on, a, on the floor of the museum, there's a lot of candies, look just like the label. And she, the professor mentioned that this is the, an artwork that one artist is expressing his loss of his partner and the grief that he showed through that artwork, the emotion that's so, 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 so painful. But my former point of view, it's just like a candy, just like a Lego. It's just like a trash. And nothing related to loss, nothing related to grief, nothing related to emotions. So as we can see, that different people have their way to represent things using different ways and different people can understand and, or you know people can um, explain things are uh, in different ways um, so I think it is something that's so cool that we as a human have different perspective of different things that related to ourselves and I'd like to share a personal experiences that are really similar to the things I have learned from lecture. I think in Taiwan, um, Taiwan is, uh, I'm from Taiwan and grew up in Taiwan. Every student in Taiwan, after the class at 5 p.m., finish their class, they go to eat a lunch, but after lunch, they actually go to crime school for three hours. 
And cram school is something like a preparatory school for only aiming for uh, improve the testing skills for their school test. And students spend every day in there. I think this is something that represents the student in Taiwan. But from people outside of Taiwan or people from outside of Asia countries, they will think it is so unbelievable and it's hard to imagine how it looks like and how cram school represents or childhood. So I think that is something really similar to that, but in other ways uh, that people understand things differently. For us, a lot of people in Taiwan feel like the school is painful. But I don't know from other country, but some of friends from America have told me that he actually enjoyed in school. So I think it's just so different as my personal experience as growing up in Taiwan as compared to my friends in America. So those things, same school, have different meaning, different represents, uh, can be a different representations. So I think this is so interesting to know that things can have different meaning depending on different people. Thank you so much for watching this video. I just want to point out that something I have learned in this reading and lectures in class discussion. The first thing I have learned is the stereotypes. Stereotype can depend on people of understanding others. The second thing I want to point out is the myth of photographic truth. Photo is no longer a truth in now's a day as te technology innovations change the way we see the photos. The third thing I will mention is representations. Different things have different representations. And when we understand something, we have different opinions, different perspective, depending how we think, depending on our cultural differences. So those are things that I've learned from reading, lecture, and class discussion. And thank you for watching this video. I want to see you next time.